Chris Black Radio Show, take one. Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah. Every Tuesday is like a weekend. Uh, Every Thursday, here we go again. Twice a week at 6 p.m. So we ready to let the show begin. It's that Chris Black Radio Show. Yeah. Chris Black Radio Show. Oh, Chris yeah. Black Radio Show. Chris Black Radio Show. Chris Black Radio Show. Chris Black Radio Show. Radio show, Chris Black Radio show. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris Black Radio show.
Thanks for tuning in to the Chris Black Radio Show. First, I want to thank all our first-time listeners to listen. Listen, call your mama, call your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin, even the dog. Come listen to the Chris Black Radio Show. We are here to commit to inspiring audience through music, positive words, and information. So listen to the Chris Black Radio Show. If you have any comments, if you want to be an interview on the show or you want to highlight you, please send us. Send that information to info at thechrisblack.com. I want you to visit my website, thechrisblack.com, www.thechrisblack.com. Follow me on Instagram, the Chris Black Show, and the number one. I'm on Facebook, Facebook forward slash the Black Show, or on Twitter, Black1971. First of all, I want to say happy belated Valentine's Day to all of you lovers. I hope you had a great day, a great love day. So what did you do? What did you do? What did you do yesterday? What gifts did you get on yesterday? Yesterday is a day filled with love. And even if you didn't have a Valentine, there's someone that loves you. It's it, it, whether it's your friend or your parents, a loved one, someone loves you so you don't have to feel lonely. I know we had, yesterday was day filled with people got a lot of chocolate, uh, even some of you women or men got diamonds, you ate, you have flowers, stuffed animals, all kinds of things that was going on on yesterday of people giving gifts. I know I'm married. I've been married for 15 years and I know that I had to go out. I had cars and it was so many people in the store. Now I don't want to know about you, but here in Los Angeles, California, there was a lot of places where people, they had their stuff packed on the side of the road. I mean, it was stuffed animals and flowers and packages on one corner. It was like five or six tables of different people. So, so people were stopping, you know, last minute people getting all of those things. And even today, as I went out early this morning, they're still out selling flowers and candy and all kinds of stuff. I know there was a lot of great uh, evenings and, and food eating and all that stuff happened yesterday. But with love, there's also, you know, unfortunately, you know, the opposite of love is hate and hate is out there. And on yesterday, there was a mass shooting in Florida at a high school. Young man killed 17 people, an ex-student killed 17 people and i don't know i mean you hear about these things over and over and over again i mean this is only february and there's been 18 shootings at schools this year in 2018 this 19 year old went in there into the school he had a tear gas mass he had ak-47 he had plenty of ammunition and, and listen, I mean, we talk about, or we've heard that these laws need to change. This needs to change. That needs to change. And I don't, I don't see it happening. What are, what are we going to do? You know, honestly, I believe that we need to do things to protect more of what's happening at the school. You know, beef up the security because I don't see what they're going to really change the gun laws. He was able to legally go buy this ammunition. Listen, let's keep love in our hearts. As much as hate is out there, let's continue to love one another. Let's continue to show love. I'm all about love. Okay? You listen to the Chris Black Radio Show, and we will be right back. Keep it locked right here. You're listening to the Chris Black Radio Show. I want to tell you about a new and powerful tool called RE Visa Card. RE is a worldwide home-based business you can get excited about. Now I know, I know you've heard it all before, but RE has low startup costs with big payouts. No more waiting for paychecks in the mail. RE pays directly to your own RE Visa Card. You can get started today for $39.95. Now, RE was founded to help you help the people you know save money on products and services they already purchased somewhere else. 
So why don't you sign up today? You can call us by 1-888-603-1555. Again, 1-888-603-1555. Or go to our website, Get Re-Energized. Being fit is key if you want to live a long and healthy life. But there are so many diets out there, and frankly, you've probably tried most and may have given up. Well, I'm here to tell you there is hope, and don't give up. If you're serious about losing weight and getting fit once and for all, you need to check out Body by Vi. If you're ready for the body you've always wanted, Body by Vi is the program for you. In fact, millions of people have already lost millions of pounds. Body by Vi is now challenging you to see what new and you can do it 10 pounds at a time you will look great and feel so much better when you finally get rid of all that extra weight you've been carrying around with you for all those years body by vi has discovered the secret to long-term weight loss and it's found in the first 10 pounds lost now you can be a part of the project 10 challenge just visit Danielle Riley 42.bodybyvi.com. That's Danielle Riley, the number 42.bodybyvi.com. Here you can see what this amazing diet is all about. Read the testimonials, see the before and after pictures, and you will be amazed. This is truly incredible. Danielle Riley 42.bodybyvi.com. D for tools and strategies to live a healthy, happy, and successful life. For details, go to drdianthompson.com. That's drdianthompson.com. And we like are us back on, Facebook, on the Chris Black Radio Show. Slash and again, I'm glad Diane that you stopped by and joined us. If this is your first time, thank you, thank you, thank you again. And today we have... You know, a lot in store for you, a lot of information, great interviews today. One of our special guests today is Nisha Cortez. Wonderful singer comes from a, a line, a long line, a list of singers and her family, you know, Cortez family, Jacardi. I mean, just a lot of singers. And I want you to hear her. I want you to hear the things that she's talking about. I want you to hear her journey. I want you to hear her music. Wonderful singer. A few weeks ago, we had a an artist, singer, songwriter. She's a producer on the show. Patty. Howard and we did not have an opportunity to play the entire interview she had so much information so much information to talk about and I want to play the second part of that interview she is one of the background singers that sang with Whitney Houston for about nine years she was with Whitney for a lot of a lot of time she has a lot of information to share she was a producer she's a singer and she put out a couple of projects so i want you to hear what she, the things that she has to say a lot of the young artists are coming along and you know we we like to push independent artists so this is information you need to hear the music that you have been hearing that we have been highlighting is an artist out of alabama which is alvin garrett on this day of Valence, I call it Valentine's weekend. We were playing, we are playing love music. Now, you know, on the Chris Black show, we always want to push independent artists, you know, live performances, and we want to highlight you. So if you have music that you want to be highlighted, you want to be highlighted as an artist or you want to be interviewed on the show, make sure you email us at the Chris Black Show at gmail.com again that's the chris black show at gmail.com let me talk about some of the things that is coming up so i there's an event it's called an afternoon of jazz that event is on april the 15th it is a fundraiser for Cowan Elementary. It's presented by the Cowan PTO. So that's an event. The artist is going to be wonderful, wonderful day of music. We have, let's see who we have. We have Jacob Lust from American Idol. We have my band, the Chris Black Experience. We have national recording artist Carrie Sims on the saxophone. We have the band Connect. We we have Mr. Patty Pie 
himself that's going to be singing james wright chanel we have him we have i mean it's so many artists so many great things also the family but there's going to be an auction there's there's games and things for the kids i mean it's a lot that's going to be going on that day so make sure that you go to afternoon of jazz dot com and get your tickets it's twelve dollars in advance only twelve dollars in advance it's fifteen dollars at the store go ahead and be a part of something great we are raising funds for the children at cowan elementary school okay you can get all the information from the website afternoon of jazz also i want you to be a part of the teachings you know that i have you know i have a book called achieving winning mindset that i put out about a year ago i have a video series i have a series called master your life it's a three book series coming next month i am going to do one session talking about one of the series so you can sign up for the entire it's 12 or 13 sessions within that so you can find information about the series. I have a video series called How to Have Lasting Change in Your Life and Recognizing Your Unhealthy Thinking Habits. And we're at the beginning of the year and we all have these you know, goals that we, we try to talk about at the beginning of the year. And at some point, those things stop. You know, we talk about change. We want to be changed. We, but we are not the change that we talk we that we talk about or that we want to be. So, in this series, I give you some action items so you will be out be learn how to have lasting change in your life. Also, coming up, the network called the Jam Network. The Jam Network is about empowering musicians and artists to be successful whether that's financially whether that's through networking it's empowering musicians and artists to be successful in the industry you can information you can find out about that is the jam network series and that is on facebook always go to my website and to find information out the chris black Dot com also on Facebook the Chris Black show on Facebook and you are listening to the Chris Black radio show we're going to play some music and when we come back we will have our interview with Nisha Cortez see you in a minute Chris Black Radio Show Hi it's your favorite American idol Lakeisha Jones and you're listening to the Chris Black Radio Show. I can't help it when my hands caress your skin. I can't help it when my arms just pull you in. And I can't help it when my fingers run through your hair. I can't help it when my lips try to kiss you there I can't help myself when When I'm with you, girl I lose all my self-control Baby, I'm like a birthday And I'm hanging on the strings of love Baby, I don't know what comes on
And we're back on the Chris Black Radio Show with our feature guest today, Nisha Cortez. How are you doing, Nisha? I am doing wonderful. How are you doing? I am doing wonderful. For, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with Nisha Cortez, let me just give you all a little bit of information. This is a singing sister. She comes from a long list of... Uh, a whole family can sing I mean she's done a lot <laughs> But you know what What was the name of that first project That y'all did the, whole, the entire family Now let me fly I mean the entire family is out And not only just You know sometimes you hear family singing And they disperse and then you don't know what they're doing But everybody right. in the family They're doing something I mean they're out singing in the city na- Nationwide singing for national artists And things like that so y'all need yeah. to make sure that if you're listening to this interview, you need to call your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, <laughs> your cousins, your next door neighbor, you, your, everybody you need to call and make sure that you listen because we're going to be sharing new music that she has and just talking about her journey in the music industry as well. So, yeah. so we are doing wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So, a uh, first thing I want to say is Happy Valentine's Day. Well, thank you, because I don't have a Valentine. So oh, thank you. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. That's thank all you. Right. You're loved. You're loved. That's that's all you need. Is some well, love. thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, so talk about. I want to know. So, what have you been doing? Now, now let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. So, you and your family. And of course, did your mo- did your parents sing? Yes, my dad, he actually uh, sings. He's a, he is a minister, a Baptist minister, my grandfather. So we actually came from a long line of singers, from my grandfather on down. I mean, they all could hold a note. And so my mother, when we were younger, the pastor and wife, which is my grandfather and my grandmother, you know how they would have an anniversary every year. And my mother would have to talk. And instead of her talking, because she's not a big talker, she would she put the five of us, my siblings and I, up to sing. And this was back in the 80s, maybe 87, when my younger brother was maybe three or four or five years old. And okay. that's how we began from my grandmother and grandfather's anniversary. Wow. So that's I, how we began. I remember. So I, I if those who listened to, didn't know this, I used to live in Houston, Texas. And I remember when mm-hmm. I was there, they used to talk about, oh, you need to go listen to the Cortez kids. The Cortez yeah. kids, they going to be over in such and such places, such and such mm-hmm. place. So I would go and listen to y'all singing. And man, you know, they was right. You know, they, y'all was tearing the place up. Y'all was all over the city. Everybody yeah. wanted yeah. y'all to sing somewhere. Right. So, but yeah. at, but at a certain point, you know, you know, as you start to get older, you know, you you want right. to kind of start doing some things on your own. Definitely. You know? Um. And and it doesn't take away well, from the family at all, but you know, you of course you want to do some things on your own. Right. Well. Um. I think once we got older, and once the fam- especially the girls, especially when we start having children. Uh-huh. It kind of put us in the place to where you we better go out there and do something else. As far as, you know, making a name for yourself because we started having those mouths to feed. And, you know, as you grow older, you kind of, well, my mom was keeping us together. We kind of grew apart because some of us are married and this, that, and the other. So the group was kind of scarce as getting together. So we had to get out there and do it like ourselves, like seriously. Yeah, so, so, so that's yeah. what brought that on, you know. Life right. brought that on. You got older and you know. and life kicked in. Yes, yes. Yes. And then, you know, once my children started admiring me and saying, Hey, you know what, my mama does this and does that, it kinda gave me that push to wanna keep it going. You know, not to say that I don't want to ever sing back with my family because I love that, but I love the new discovery of, you know, finding out myself you know finding out who nisha is so 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 there's a couple things that i saw in in your in your bio you won was had us idol yes so it's actually a houston based um radio station 97.9 the box uh um dj matt had he had a 
a um, competition, kind of like American Idol, except it was Hattest Idol. And you went through six weeks and you sang and they put different, um, they had a wheel that you had to spin and they might start you in the middle of a song, just trying to trick you up. But I actually ended up winning the entire thing. I won $20,000, a brand new car. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. I won a singles deal um, that was paid in full by them and it was it was it was awesome i mean i met a lot of uh great people i sung at a car show with ice cube it was awesome it wow. was awesome wow now that it was awesome that that's pretty good how long ago was that that was actually in 2005 so front that was 2005 so front from and, that um, from that did you already uh-huh. know you know did did you have any hesitation in going to that contest or you was or, or did you, you know, how did you feel going into it? Um, actually, it's funny because my brother Zacardi Cortez, right. he was originally in the contest. And Pastor John P. Key called him and asked him to come on tour with him. So my brother said, hey, Nisha, go and take my place oh. in the contest. And that's what I did. And I ended up winning. Yes. Oh, now, oh, now that's now. <laughs> so after now that's crazy. That's crazy. So after you won, what did your brother say? He was excited because he he ended up being there on the very last night of the competition. He was on tour the entire time, but the very last night of the competition, when they were going to announce the winner, he came. And as soon as I got through with my song with my winning song, he burst out in the audience loud in front of everybody give her the keys give her the keys <laughs> give her the keys <laughs> and i ended up winning it and it was it just was a wonderful night it was wow. it was great that was one of the great experiences i've ever had he didn't break out and say now where where is the part of my money no where? oh no 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 <laughs> I, I, you know what we are a very close family and when one does well we really all sincerely like root for each other because i mean it's our name period and so it's all for one and one if cardi is doing well that does nothing but boost us up so he was happy we all were happy they was jumping on my back and we was just <laughs> ooh, it was great <laughs> now that now that's now that's great that's that's great so from from that point what things happened after that well i was able i was afforded to go on tour with Pastor Key. Um, I never, you know, strayed away from my gospel roots because 97.9 The Box is a secular station. So that was a secular moment, but I never strayed away from my gospel roots. So with that, it did open a lot of doors. I was able to go sing with Bun B and go to car shows and just do all kinds of things. I mean, I, I recorded a new single. Um, it's called Freedom. Um, after that time, I kind of straight away a little bit as you know young people do and I ended up in jail Mm -hmm. and I was in jail for eight months and during that course of the time you know a lot of things was going on God was dealing with me and out of that came a song I I wrote called him and it was just basically a song about me just kind of breaking up with the devil you know I felt like me and the devil were dating and you know it was just kind of it was kind of of me letting go of his hand and just letting law letting god do what it is i was trying to do everything but god sat me down and he was like you don't have to do that nisha let me work in your life and he it, i mean that was in 2011 and ever since then i god has been opening doors i recorded a new cd i'm getting ready to go back on tour um going to the stellar awards i mean just great things are happening that I mean that 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 is amazing. That, I mean, yeah. and, and that's something I think that a lot of people need to hear. You know, you, you just you know you try to go out and make and do it on your own. I can do this. I can do that. I don't need no help. And then you know God has a way of saying, "Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you doing yeah, now? Really? <laughs> really? Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. You, right. You know, you need to sit down. So I need to talk right. to you for a couple of minutes. You know, right. so so that 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 is wonderful, and so you have a few songs. I do. I want to play one of them right now. I'm trying to think. Let's see. Which one do I want to play first? I think I want to play Freedom. That's and the one. So Freedom is the one that you recorded from after ninety seven nine. 
that's the one you recorded? No, Freedom is actually the one after I was released. Okay, okay. Freedom okay. is the one I wrote myself about, you know, um, living like a winner, not living like a sinner. Oh, okay. That okay. That's what that's Freedom. Okay. All right, so we're going to play Freedom, and we will be yes. right back on the Chris Black Radio Show. radio show and we just finished listening to freedom great song great message so where can one get it from where where can they buy this song from one can go to itunes amazon cd baby all of your digital outlets and um i believe it's 99 cents so like i tell everybody wherever i go we all have 99 problems but 99 cent is definitely like one of them so you guys go out please support local artists um we need all the support independent artists need all of the support they, they can get and i really appreciate you guys 
Yeah, and I say this every week. Make sure we support, 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 support. I mean, it's ninety nine cent. You know, we we yes. we all people want someone to support them. Right. So when when it's time to support someone else, make Definitely. sure that you support them. I'm going to buy my copy. And I want right. all of the Chris Black Show followers to do the same thing. It's 99 cents. 99 cents? Go ahead. Buy a couple. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You you do that. So it, and get free today. Yeah, get free. Yeah, get free on this yeah. Valentine's. Get free. Yes. So so you all about freeing your mind. Right. So you have been out singing. God yes. All, all I've been out all day. All day long because, you know, I um call myself trying to do a little business, you know. Oh. I am doing Valentine's Day singing telegrams. Um today for Valentine's Day. I also do it for Mother's Day, birthdays, Father's Day. But today of course is Valentine's Day and I've been going all over Houston to people's jobs, to homes, to restaurants. Just showing up and singing a love song of their choice and giving them roses, candy. And it has actually been a success. It has been a success. And I'm very proud. Of course. I mean, you have the gift of singing. Yes. So <laughs> going to go going somewhere to sing is going to be a success. Because that's what you yes. that's what you do. That is what yeah. you do. You know, I've I've always been a fan of of yours in singing I have because you know you you have such great tone yes it's, 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 <laughs> and I know you've heard it before but it's 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 a rich thick tone that I love you know you well, you can you. get in there and you know you you can put some tenors to shame and some alto <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yes and get in there and go and sing it so yes. you know, so I mean, John P. Key, and you said you're going on tour with John P. Key. Yes, he's actually doing the West Coast tour um, coming up in March. He's going to be in Cali, and oh, you know what? All those things. I believe, yes, and I'm going to go and be on the stage with him. I'm excited. I believe that I just heard it on the radio this morning. Yep, he's, he is going on tour, and you know we've been we've been relatively close to him for a while. I mean, we met him back when we were children, back in the '90s, and he gravitated to us um, because I know one of one of uh, when we were younger, one of our songs would be "In the Valley," and that was one of his signature songs. So we sang that one time for him, and ever since then, he has literally adopted us as family. So we love him, you know. Man, it's, yes, it's yes. wonderful. Now, are you going to be at this church out here called? Is it? I think it's New Jerusalem. It's Nissan Stewart's Church. That's where y'all are going. Is that where Huntsville? Or no, that's that's in Linwood. Okay. And I know that's where you all are going to be. It's, it's okay. It's in Linwood. It's some in March. Oh Maybe, yeah. Oh, you are talking about Pastor Key? Pastor Key, right? Right. Oh yeah, we we'll were going to Linwood, California. Yes, definitely. Okay, so let me see if I can connect because here's the other thing that I like to do on on the show is that yes I, I want to interview people and I, I play new music and things like that but I also like to go to live events and I go to the right. live events and I record the live singers or whatever that's going on and then I go back and play the live sessions on the show as well okay cool so of course I mean I get you know the permission from whoever I'm recording but you know, I, I like to do those type of things. So, you know, people know there's still some good live music. Come on out, take yes. a listen. And, you know, and and also one one of these days I'm going to have to come back to Houston because I do these shows, these live remotes. And I would love right. to be able to come to just a show that you're doing and just do a live streaming show, radio yeah. show from your event. Well, definitely. I would love that. Mm -hmm. So so now you know Earlier you talked about you know you, you got older You start having kids Yeah I'm almost 40 And I have a my oldest son He's in college and I have a daughter She's getting ready to graduate So you know you live you learn You grow wiser And things like that you know God continues to work on you And um I you know 
honestly, I just cannot complain. Mm -hmm. Um, God has just given me a great calling. And even if I'm singing secular gospel, whatever I choose to do, to me, it's all ministry. Right. You know, because even if you're singing about love, somebody may be going through something. It's all ministry. And I, 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 I appreciate God for, in, you know, instilling this in me because, you know, we had a rough upbringing. And if I didn't have this ministry, this calling, there's no telling what I would be doing. So I'm grateful. You know, right. I'm, I'm truly grateful. I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, and you're right. And it's 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 not about you know, you, you you can sing different styles of music or different genres of music, but what what is your Definitely. life? What what is what is your life? You know, when when you go out and you're singing, what do people see you doing? What are you saying? Right. You know, what example are you leading? So you know, music gives us an opportunity to show people what love actually really looks like. Definitely. You know, not just Definitely. not just going to church, but this is what it looks like no matter where I am. No matter what, exactly. You know, so so I I am forever grateful for you know just being able to share, you know, in right. music whatever that it is, and of course you you're the same. So yes. yeah, so that's a wonderful thing. So I don't want to hold you a long time. I, now you know what? No, before I let you go. I can't let you go yet. I can't. I can't let you go because I know you got things to do. But I can't let you go yet. Okay. Until I talk about this next song, I listened to this okay. next song that you and Cortez were singing on, and I said, "Okay, uh, I like that song." Now, don't worry. Yeah. Now, last week I played a song, and I said, "No, nah, I'm I'm not gonna play all the all the song. I just did a snippet. I wanted to just tease the people, and I just did right. a little snippet." Uh, so I want to play this other song Don't Worry Yes, yes That song there is a Cardi and I wrote At the studio one night uh -huh. And it's one of my favorites That's So what So how, how old is this song? When did this song come out? And Wow, and that song is Oh my Mm, about 15 years old oh wow oh 15 it's years. real old it's old and it's act i mean i love it as old as it is i still love it but we actually haven't put it on the yeah, it's just a recording so um say, say that one more time you haven't what now you haven't actually like put it out as a song yet it's, it was just actually a recording you cannot go and find this song anywhere you can't. We, it, it was just a recording. No, you we can't. need to. We're trying to. I, I, I'm going to get in the Cardi to go and redo that song because that's one of the phase. Wow, that's it's that's yeah yeah y'all need to do that because you know I play the song right. and then people going to want to buy the song and all right. <laughs> Ooh, so we're gonna work on that. Where can I get that from? Well, well, just just listen to it right now. You you better get it right. later. <laughs> yeah. So you I want to get it. From Yep, so I'm going to play Don't Worry and we will be right back on the Chris Black Radio Show.
In him you should abide He will rescue you from the things you do If you honor him through and through Faithful and just to forgive us If you give my God a try Then you will see that he will bless the sinners Just like you and me Place it in his hands and you let it be But don't you worry All of We're back on the Chris Black Radio Show, and we have been having a wonderful interview with Nisha Cortez. Yeah. So before I let you go, I want to know when is the family going to get back together and do something? You know what? Great question. Once we all sell down, and we can keep Zacardi in Houston for. <laughs> A length of time because he's always I mean he's literally always gone we are going to do that you know what Chris Black we're going to have a Cortez family reunion you need to have a f- yes yes you need that we will. Have, you, and you know all of Houston and the surrounding area you know they're going to show up right yes they will <laughs> yes <laughs> they, but we're gonna, we, we are going to get that together because I know it's long overdue and, and you know that was the foundation so it, it's just befitting that we do that do I need to call everybody Huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta round us up. Yeah, I need to call everybody. I, you know, yeah, like said, go I'm, to your go to person, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, I, need, just I need to shout to her, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. I, there's yeah. a couple, couple of things I was listening to that she sang background on. She did something for me, it was for some TV thing I did. Uh-huh. Uh and she did and, and literally these people called me from New York and was like, Hey, this girl she's gonna be singing on this uh ABC Christmas special and we need this track to be finished in the backgrounds and mixed in by tomorrow. Right. <laughs> I said, Oh, okay. So I call Aaron. Right. <laughs> Had the band she, her, she came in there and got it done. So I mean that that mm-hmm. that's that's that Cortez blood. All y'all got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's what that is. So, what is your your social media? So, social media will be Facebook Nisha Cortez, Instagram Nisha Denise Cortez, Twitter Nisha Denise Cortez. You can follow me there. Also, YouTube. You can always look me up on YouTube. CD Baby, iTunes, Amazon. Please go and purchase Freedom 
I promise you won't be disappointed. Anybody who knows that there are a winner that you need to declare and decree that in your life, please go and pick that up. You'll be blessed. Only 99 cents. And I thank you guys for listening to me and listening to my story. All right. Well, thanks for being on the Chris Black Radio Show. And as we thank go you. out, we're going to play Freedom again. Yes, yes. I'm going to play it again. Yes. <laughs> So thanks again for being on the Chris Black Radio Show and you have a great day. Thank you. Keep it locked right here. You're listening to the Chris Black Radio Show. show had a great interview with Nisha Cortez and if you missed it please make sure that you share it with your friends and with your family please support go out and buy her single freedom 
And I have a second part. There's actually going to be three parts. Second part to the interview of, I call a musical giant, Patty Howard. She's talking more about Whitney Houston. I'm going to play some of this interview. So please take a listen, take heed, share, share the information. And we will be right back. Okay. So I I know that um, what... What what has been your longest tenure with any artist? That would be the time that I spent working with Whitney Houston, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, from ninety two to two thousand. Um, yeah, I was you know I was blessed again to be a part of her her organization for for that long, Chris. It was an amazing time in my life, just absolutely amazing. And I was actually, and in the first part of that, I was also, you know, um, I had just finished my first uh, Christian CD called The Vision. So in 92, that was also released. So all of that was going on at the same time. Wow, wow. I think, so from singing with Whitney I know that you know we from 92 to 2000 even even to today you know she has mm-hmm. she has timeless music and oftentimes mm-hmm. I hear people try to compare they say oh that's the next Whitney Houston but but I know for myself and I, I've never played mm-hmm. for anything that just will not be another Whitney Houston it's just right. I mean it's right. just gonna be exactly. you know so so how do you feel when you hear you know things like that when you hear people talk about Whitney and you had a personal relationship you were you were with her for those eight nine years so how, how do you feel about that well <laughs> it's you know it's funny um because I get approached with that a lot. And like, even on, on Facebook, my inbox is constantly full with people sending me videos of people that they feel to be the next Whitney Houston or they sound like Whitney. Or, and it is assumed that my opinion is going to be biased because I worked with her. But anybody that knows me knows that I would pretty I will pretty much analyze down to the frequency (laughs) you know a a tone or you know what what someone sounds like and you know also being a music producer um when people hear Whitney in a recording um you know they're hearing her mixed they're hearing her uh after they've added some compression and different things the sheer power of Whitney Houston's voice, um, which you get a better, you know, you get a better idea of what that is if you've ever seen one of her live shows. I mean, this was a woman that could would blow out a microphone, uh, you know, an expensive cordless mic. They used to have to keep two two um, spare mics on the side of the stage at all times oh, wow. because her voice was so powerful. Um, she could go and hit, you know, one of those tests voice notes, you know, up in the register, and the mic would would blow out. It would just, you know, it would just give up. (laughs) Oh, wow. (laughs) You know, and you'd see the the guy run out and, you know, and hand her another mic. So, when people say to me, oh, this artist sounds like, you know, sounds like Whitney, you know, they may have some of the uh, nuances of Whitney's voice, but Whitney's voice is is, was, and always will be a one-of-a-kind uh, type voice. I remember <clears throat> Pavarotti, the opera singer, right, um, who was at a show where the sound went out, and Whitney continued to sing. There was about 60,000 people in the audience, and every, everything got quiet, and you could still hear her, you know, and it was an outdoor concert. So that that's what I'm talking about, the sheer magnitude of, of her voice and the the tone quality and the you know, there there are these people that are born into the world that are always going to 
stand out as like a, a one of a kind. The Michael Jackson, the Prince, right? Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Diana Ross, right? So you know what I'm saying, and so you can come close. You might be able to come close, but I still, to this day, having haven't heard anyone that sounds like you know like Whitney. I just, I just haven't heard it. Right. So you know, it just it just kind of. Um, but I understand, you right. know, I understand what people are taking their reference from. Right. right. So you know, I try not to give them too hard a time. And um, <laughs> like I said, it's not just based on the fact that I've sang with Whitney for so long. I really know what, and it is just was an so, incredible, amazing so, instrument. So let me ask you this: So when you're responding into people, do you ever? In your, well, in your response, just you're physically, you're kind of cringing because you're trying to be nice about what you're saying without, you don't want to hurt their feelings, but you want to, right? You don't, you don't, you understand what I'm saying? (laughs) You know, I, Chris, you're funny. You know, I understand. I understand. Yes, you have to be gracious and you have to be, you know, because, come on, Chris, you know, you've been in the music industry, you know, and worked with incredible people, musicians, producers, right, right. you know, artists. And, <laughs> and so, you know, you know, you've seen some things, you've heard some things, and, right. and you know how fans can be. Right. And fans, what what I have found about the Whitney fans, they man, they are they are die hard. So you you really got to be you know you got to be careful about what you what you say. You got to be and you got to be careful about what you're doing <laughs> and how you say it. Um, you know, we we have both sides of the story. We understand how artists and producers, how they impact the lives of people. Right. How the songs do, how the music people. I, I have heard stories, um, personal stories from people who were going through depression and suicide and things like that. And a song, just a song, changed that moment for them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Understanding that and um, just understanding the power of music, you know, of course, we're going to be careful how we, you know, how we treat that and how we treat people and talk right. to people when it comes to those those issues and those subjects. So, yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes I'm cringing. Sometimes I'm, if you can see my face and my eyes are going, getting really big and some of the questions <laughs> I get asked, I'd be going, oh, my God, okay, how can I answer this? You know, right. without offending someone, and right. you know, Not, yeah, yeah. I, I can see you now. <laughs> I can see you now twitching and eyes big. You know, big. I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let- and you go, you go. Well, um, you know, as you're preparing and rapid fire, you know what you're trying to line up your thoughts of what you're going to say. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. Absolutely. <laughs> And you have been listening to the Chris Black Radio Show. And that was part of an interview from Patty Howard giving more nuggets of information about her time with Whitney Houston. Such amazing time. And next week, we're going to be playing another part of that because there is a movie that she's a part of that came out. And if you go to either the Chris Black Show on the Facebook page, you will find there will be a flyer there. And we will post up things because there's going to be a showing of that movie in Los Angeles, California at the L.A. Film School. So make sure that you stay with the Chris Black Show to get the information or you can go to her page, Patty Howard or PH Balance Music to find the information. Thanks again for being on the Chris Black radio show and listening. And remember... Love isn't love until you're giving it away. Today, tomorrow, show someone love. Have a great weekend. Said you can rest assured it will come to pass 
pray and just hold on. He will be there. Don't you worry about the trials, cause he really cares. Just keep the faith in God's word. He's not a man that he will lie. I thought you heard. He's the same God yesterday and forevermore. Don't you give up? His love is better than before. Yeah. 